We're here at the Re Kenneth S. Norris Rancho Marino Research Reserve, part of the UC Research Reserve Network. Right now, there are 41 different units in this network. This is an awesome place. This is a fantastic resource for conservation and understanding of the coast. Where we are right here in Cambria, uh, California. So we're, we're just a little bit up coast from Morro Bay in San Luis Obispo County. Fantastic representation. This particular reserve is about 500 acres, all kinds of fantastic stuff. It is uh, about two miles of coastline. It is um, all kinds of fantastic communities. Um, this area is open to university level classes and researchers. So it's not a generally uh, open to the public type of place. Um, having a, a protected area is a really key resource, not just for conservation, but as this uh, series of areas shows, um, are really, really key for looking at long-term change, understanding the ecosystem of our increasingly stressed California landscapes and seascapes. The Rancho Marino Reserve right here um, first started to become a research reserve in 2000. So the first agreement with the owner to lease the land to um, uh, the University of California Natural Reserve Network System was in 2000, and they proceeded through a series of six-year agreements to renew that and continue this fantastic collaboration. So if we come over here and we look down right here on this coastal bluff, um, uh, representative of a lot of this part of the coast, not many sandy beaches, a lot of rocky intertidal, a lot of fantastic benches. Now, we're at relatively high tide here. Um, right now, we're, I, don't, I haven't checked, but I think it's about a plus four foot or so right now, plus four feet in terms of tide. Um, fantastic marine resources, kelps, beds, all that kind of fantastic stuff. Also really nice if we had a low tide here where these waves are breaking, all this white water, you'd see tons of, um, uh, uh, tons of intertidal spaces, nooks, crannies, etc. Um, as we move inland, um, the uh, coastal bluffs turn into coastal prairie. So this area, um, very important uh, natural grassland, native dominated grassland, has had a history of different production. So some of this was, was grazing, some of it was tillage, some of it was tilled agriculture. And so um, through a series of, of improved management practices over the past 20 years, managers here um, at the reserve have figured out how to reintroduce grazing to protect some of these native plants and conserve more native cover and minimize some of the problematic invasives. As we go farther inland, we get to the Monterey Pine Stand. This is one of only three native, remnant native stands of Monterey Pine pine forest uh, in the world. Uh, this species is cultivated around the world, so it's one of the most widely planted species. But as far as the natural distribution, native range, this is one of only three spots in the world where they remain. So we have fantastic forests here at Rancho Marino. We have fantastic grasslands. We have fantastic intertidal and marine resources. This is really a wonderful spot, and, and, and we're very blessed to have this as a resource for us here um, to use for classes, to use for research, and to use to interpret the story of California's natural history and California's changing landscapes.